Hi, this is Digimaster Jimmy here, and this is the Data Link Digivice. Yeah, and on here is the best buddy Falcomon. So, before I get into actually showing this, I'm going to do something I haven't done in my videos yet. I'm going to look at the box and what it comes with. First and foremost, it comes with this data chip. Now, Falcomon is a bird type Digimon. So it's going to give me a bird type data chip. I'll show you how to use that later. This is the box. As you see, there's a sticker. There's Chromon. There's Falcomon. And a bunch of other stuff. You know, this is in Japanese, which, as I've said multiple times, I can't read. But I've got sort of the gist of it. So here it says there's some sort of arcade game which you can put which you can hook the uh data link up to and i don't know play some sort of game there's a communication there and it shows pacmon using a triple attack a bunch of other stuff you know over here it's uh showing some of the mini games which i will again show you later and how to take care of it now It'll, of course, turn itself off after a certain given amount of time. Now, this is the button that says to go. Yeah, it only goes, you know, one way. So this is the cancel button. You have to start over if you want to you know, do something. This is the accept button. If you press them both together, which I don't know if I can do correctly. Uh, it doesn't matter. You'll get to two things, one of which the top one will show you. Uh, will allow you to, like, turn the sound off. Yeah, here it is. It'll say on and off. But, for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it on. Next, we'll show your brightness. And, uh, yeah. Then we go on to right here, where it says, uh, or right here, it shows a little person almost touching something, you know? And you click on that, and there are two things. Press the top one, and it'll say charge. What you do is you put your hand or finger on it, and it'll charge and give you an item. This one gave me some bird data, which could help you out in a battle. If you, It's basically a touch sensor, so if you touch certain areas of this, it'll give you different things. Next is this one. And I don't know if I'll be able to do this, because I only have one hand. But, what you do is, there are small dots on there that link up with small dots right there. And you have to put those on, and this right here, onto it, will give you something. And occasionally I do it wrong, and it will give me a data instead of the bird data that it's supposed to. But, you know, if you put it on right, it should be fine. I uh, guess I didn't do that right. Yeah, come on, work. Well, like I said, I didn't think I could do it anyway. Next is its stats. Right now, you know, it, it'll tell you everything about your Digimon, like what stage it's at, how much it weighs, its name, which is in Japanese. It'll say, like, if it can battle, what type it is, you know, its level, its type, I think it's a type. How hungry it is, which it's at 7 out of 8 right now, which means I need to feed it. How much it trusts me, and trust in this one is extremely important. Because there are about 25 different evolutions. If it trusts you enough, it'll go with your path to Chromon and maybe even Raidmon. But if it goes wrong, it'll give you different things. For instance, this will usually give you a peek as to what it'll turn into next. Right now, because it trusts me so much, it'll turn into Pekmon. But if it didn't, there's a good chance it turned into, um, I can't remember the name of it. I believe Solomon. Yeah. And right here it tells me it's battle stats, you know, how much it's won and whatnot. And... The communication points. 
Unfortunately, this doesn't connect to anything I have. It'll connect to the Digivice Excel, and um, uh, there's something else, but I can't remember what. Go down here. I have yet to figure out what this does. It'll just send me back up, right? This here shows the items I have, and I only have this. Items, again, are not as important as trust, but it is kind of important. And then points. Right now I have 80 points, and points are also important. Here it's food, and once you hit food, you can go here, and it'll give you actual food, you know. There's also, you know, there it is, doing his little happy dance. There's also this bandage where if it's hurt, you'll have to feed it that, but you can't feed it unless, you know, it's hurt. And then this. This will, you have to give it to this if it's sick. Or if else not, it'll die, you know, of sickness. Next, there's the datas. And, yeah, if you give it to them, it'll strengthen them. So. Next is, you know, to clean up its poop on the top here. It's to actually clean up its poop on the bottom is to turn off the lights. So yeah, it's kind of important. Next down here, if you see, it almost looks like two people talking, which makes no sense in the context it's used because it's the Colosseum. Now, like, remember when I said that the points were important? Well, here. As you can see, there are three different Colosseum areas. The first one you can get in free. And every time you beat someone, you get about 10 points until you get to the top in which you get 100. Yeah, but each one and so on, you have to pay to so much as get in. And if you lose, you're out of luck. And here are the mini games. This one, I hate the most. This is basically a Digimon version of um, Whack a Mole. It's a bit easy once you get the rhythm, but yeah. I'm just X out of there. And he does his little happy dance, but you still get 10 points for clearing that level. Next is the button push, which is by far the easiest game here. You literally just push a button. And as you do, it'll evolve. But that's just the game. Yeah, you still get, you know, a certain amount of points for how much you did. And finally, I don't know the name of this game, but I'm going to call it Mousetrap, because that's basically what it is. See that little mouse there? You have to catch it within that. Yeah. It's a pretty simplistic game, but the game will speed up and slow down whenever it feels like it. So, yeah. Be prepared for that. And it's still sad, but it gave me its happy dance. You know, gave me some points. Next, here's the communication. This here will allow you to battle with other Digimon. Which, again, I don't have... I can't do because none of my Digivices connect to it. Next is the shops. It does its little animation and brings you to some shops, you know. You have to have money for it, but I'm not going to buy anything right now. And that, I don't know what that does yet, because again, I can't speak Japanese, but I'll figure it out eventually. And last, actually, you know what, I think that's it. I would show you guys a battle. Unfortunately, I'm already nine minutes into this. So, yeah. Like I said, comment if you want me to do any specific Digivice, and uh, I might get back to you on that, alright? Peace out.